Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, please, y'all, go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Hit the bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are over here getting it in with these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, please go ahead. Hit me up at dftarotea at gmail.com, okay? All readings are $44.44, okay? And there's a 24 to 48-hour turnaround, okay? Y'all, I got to get some new editing equipment so I can get y'all stuff back to y'all sooner, okay? Okay, so just bear with me right now. In the meantime... Any additional information that you would want with these readings, y'all, about uh, personal readings, go ahead and look in the bio section beneath this comments, okay? Now, listen. Some of y'all are still feeling a pull, okay, on y'all from an ex. You're still feeling a pull. You're still feeling a pull because this is a masculine that is still channeling your energy sexually when he gets drunk, Okay? He pulls on your energy when he drinks. And you don't realize it. But whenever this man is drunk, he starts to pull on your energy. Okay? King of Wands. Okay, what I say? Y'all know that King of Wands is lit. This guy is a lit. This whoever this is, is a lit guy. Very passionate. He may be a fire sign or he just may be fire sign prominent. He also may have been raised around a lot of fire signs. Fire signs being Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Um, and he is pulling, pulling, pulling your energy, okay, whenever he gets in a certain state of mind. Uh, we see the star energy to the side here, y'all. It's very Luciferian energy. This man is one that shines very brightly. A lot of people know who he is. He comes across as being very knowledgeable. He holds a lot of secrets. Um, and he went through your life very quickly, um, he even might have had a lot of forbidden energy, okay? This man might have been familiar with the occult or he may have been deep into the conscious community, um, okay? For those of y'all that are familiar with what the conscious community is or where, what I meant by that, okay? But this is kind of his space. This is where he does his thing, um, kind of in a occult-like mindset, okay? Believe it or not. And um, he's very spiritual. This is why he is able to channel you so clearly or you hear him so clearly when once he gets into these channel spaces. Okay, so we see the hierophant on his side. Believe it or not, this man is still semi in a spiritual marriage with you. You don't realize this, but you still have a spiritual marriage with this man. And he is still able to channel from you because you still get him weak. Channel to you because you still get him weak when you are not around. Okay. Okay, so we see this Knight of Swords energy. This man still has a real strong desire mentally. He's really, really, really mentally still very caught up on you and still very much running towards you in a mental space, whether you realize it or not. The Hierophant is coming through in reverse. Okay, somewhat reversed. Again, kind of on his side. Y'all still have some, some sort of marital energy, though y'all do not have any marital plans. Two of Wands in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the reverse. You may right now be the person in the situation where you've kind of backed off low key. And you may also be high in um, fire sign or water sign energy. Okay, so Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Libra, Pisces, Cancer. Okay, and there is a certain pulling that is happening between y'all energetically. And part of it is because this man really don't want you out of his life. Especially sexual, like passion. There's a passion between y'all. And this man is still pulling. He is still pulling, okay? Pulling at your energy. Whenever he get a little bit of that convulsive A, he is pulling at your energy, okay? Okay, he sits and he thinks. He's listening to old songs. Thinking about things that y'all went through. You know, my man is throwing on... Old songs. I'm talking about my man, my man listening to Smokey Robinson. My man listening to The Doors. My man listening to The Main Ingredients. You know what I'm saying? My man is turning on The Four Tops. My man is turning on uh, The Birds. You know what I'm saying? He's he cutting on The Beatles. You know, he's doing big things once it's time for him to turn that, turn that uh, music on. My man turning on a little Santana. My man turning on a little bit of everything. You understand me? Okay, he cutting on a little Billy Joel. You know what I'm saying? He ain't missing no stops. And... It's all while he sits and drinks and he just reminisces about you. I'm saying he may sit in a big chair. This man is tall. He has long legs. 
okay? And he just lays back, you know, with his, his bottle in his lap and he just gets in that vibe, okay? And he is pulling at your energy. And you're wondering why you keep, you know, thinking of him, what's going on. This man is spiritually very powerful, mentally very powerful. He's very deep. He's very passionate. Again, he's very knowledgeable. He's very seductive, okay? And you have been amused for him. This man went on an unknown journey with you. Even you don't realize the unknown journey you've been on with this man, okay? You don't have a clue. You don't realize that. That you took this man kind of through. I'm literally seeing a forest. This man feels like he really discovered some things about himself with you. And you were his muse. You were somebody that really put a lot on his mind. You were somebody that he really thought was like the shit. You know what I mean? Like one of his favorite relationships his favorite girlfriends okay you were somebody that he feels he was able to lead into new opportunities okay we see the shepherd and we see the pilgrim he feels like he was able to lead you into understanding more about being a wife and i'm getting that this may be true whether you were actually married to him or not this man had a very holistic and spiritual approach to men and women and what they should be to each other um i'm really getting kind of like a nipsey hustle type of energy if anybody remembers what Lauren London spoke about Nipsey Hussle, she talked about how Nipsey Hussle, Hussle would get up every morning, burning herbs, making sure the house was spiritually set for the family, saying prayers before they even got out of the bed, okay, making sure that there was certain type of meals prepared in the home. So, you know, and even though he was out here, like, you know, giving you this, this very tough masculine persona, there was still a part of him that we all know like still had this holistic vibe when it came to family okay we even saw that when we saw nipsey's mother god rest the dead on nipsey hustle okay um nipsey was also a very tall gentleman so i'm getting a lot of nipsey energy from this masculine okay um last time that i checked okay i've getting a lot of nipsey energy okay and so this man also feels that he helped you learn this man feels like when he came into your life you didn't stick up for yourself as much as you stick up for yourself now so when he sits and he gets he gets a little something in him you know what i'm saying he gets his storyteller energy okay he gets his storyteller energy he turns on his music. I just told y'all this. Storytelling musician. I just told y'all. I just told y'all this. The poet. Okay. I'm telling y'all. He may even be writing about you. Writing also being a very strong spiritual tool. This man may be writing love poems about you. He may be saving texts in his phone about you. He's reading texts from you over and over again. And these things are conjuring. Okay. This man is conjuring. What did I just say? The dancer. He's conjuring, conjuring, constantly conjuring you up in his life, in his mind, in his space, in his living quarters. Okay. Because he is still sitting there thinking about you. Um, he also feels like you and him had a fight. Whatever happened between y'all last, an argument, a disagreement. He's not happy that it went down like that, okay? He's not happy that it went down like that, but he's not telling you this. We see mas Masquerary. He's not telling you this. He's not opening up. He's not really telling you what's on his mind. Um, he's keeping these things to himself. He may also be getting involved with a, going to tarot readers. He may also be reading his own candles. We see which energy here. Different things where he's trying to pick up the energy that you might have. That's another reason you're feeling his en energy around you, okay? We see the adventurer. This man is still thinking of going on new event adventures with you. You were such a welcome addition to his life. And he knows he didn't quite express that to you as much as he could have. Okay, so we see this hound energy right here. This man misses you. He feels like you were loyal. He feels like he had a chain to you. He was promised with you. Okay, the orator. This man is also speaking of you a lot. Okay, the diviner. What did I say? He's also looking into divination as it relates to you. Talking to those that are into divination and he might be into divination himself. Reading his own candles. Scrying. You just never know. Um, he has some things he's over there doing in hopes of kind of reconnecting with you some kind of way. And by this, he is consistently keeping himself connected to you on the metaphysical plane, okay? You guys had a really deep relationship, whoever I'm talking to, so I don't think this would surprise you that this man is still in tune enough with you to channel you, you know, once he's had a drink or two. Also, we know that, you know, certain alcohols um, bring in different energies, Okay, so depending on what he is drinking, um, you know, you just never know what it could be bringing him. He may be getting different clarities and things like that, okay, in regards to the relationship. 
okay based on anything he may particularly be having okay witchcraft cocktails okay you can always look in a book like this and kind of get an idea of what energies kind of come through you know brandy is a potent alcohol for spiritual offerings you know liqueurs are the result of adding various herbs and, and fruits you know herbs and fruits carry spiritual energy okay gin um, is one that is good for cleansing, reversing, and protective cocktails. So you can always get a book like this, Witchcraft Cocktails by Julia Halini Haras. That is going to help you outline some of the spiritual uh, concepts that are going to come from, um, you know, drinking certain liquors. Okay, of course, there are certain herbs as well. You can get something like Sacred Smoke that can kind of tell you what to expect from burning certain herbs. Sacred Smoke by Sacred Smoke by Amy Blackthorne, okay? So there are always ways that you can go about kind of figuring out how um, this man or anyone can be affected by the liquors that they take down or the herbs that they choose to um, use to cleanse their spaces or conjure or whatever it is they got going on. So um, this man is still dealing with a lot of feelings towards you, okay? Because things are stagnant and he really doesn't want them to be stagnant. We know this man is extremely intuitive, okay? So this man is the type that may be taking a risk any day because his emotions are so bottled up, okay? And in these bottled up emotions is, is where he's just sitting around getting drunk, man. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? This man is sitting back listening to the, OG, the OJs, okay? This man doing all that because he's trying to feel good. He's also trying to alleviate all of the sexual lust and tension that has been left behind the lust and sexual tension that has been left behind since you have departed okay my man my man my man is trying to relax some of the sexual energy that has been kind of left for him to resolve on his own <laughs> if you get what i'm saying with you being gone okay because this man did not have a whole lot of lovers he's too spiritual to be comfortable with that um drinking from another cup of love this man feels that you may have moved on. This is bothering him. You know, is she with somebody else? Like, why I'm not hearing from her? And this man is really getting lost in his thoughts of you saying, you know, she was perfect. Like, and look what I just say. I am lost in you. Thinking that, you know, you were perfect and, you know, maybe things shouldn't have went the way that they went. Okay. This man is still thinking about when y'all would kiss. Okay. I feel alive when you kiss. But there's still some things that happen in this situation that left this man hurt. Okay. So he's dealing with some kind of hurts, but he is still able to get through to you on the metaphysical plane, okay? He is still able to be very felt by you when he's sitting back having these thoughts. Um, there may have been some arguments and disagreements that went on between y'all that just was kind of left laying in the floor. You know, nobody really did anything about them one way or the other. Okay. You really didn't try to do much about it because we see this queen bee energy. You just kind of felt like, you know, I'm just going to let things lay where they lay. You really didn't try to do much about it, okay? Yet this man is still under your spell, whether you, you know, have noticed this or not, okay? Because this man is the type of man that lives in the moment. And the moments that he spent with you are moments that he's not able to let go of. He's usually somebody that is like, you know, I'm, I'm just in this for now and then it moves on. He's not having that, that luck with you, like... He's still talking to his family about you, okay? He's still thinking, what would it be like if y'all was married and had a family? Like, he can't let these fantasies go, okay? And off and on, hot and cold, attached, he feels like that's kind of what he's going through towards you, even though you're not in his life right now. Um, this man is like, some days he's into you, some days he's not, some days he's detached, some days. But there are days that he's just totally on you. Those are the days that you're feeling this, okay? This man is still pulling at your energy, Okay, because this man is upset that you said goodbye. This man is upset that you seemed, you know, fed up with something that happened. Um, and so he's been keeping himself kind of secluded since a lot of this happened. Um, his friends and family could tell you like they're not even really hearing from him like that no more. So we want to see what's going on. You know, he's taking some time to be alone. I'm seeing him burning some incense um, and kind of sitting alone, just just trying to help himself, you know, clear his mind. Okay, he's trying to clear his mind from whatever went down between y'all. Okay, two of swords in the reverse. 
okay there were some things that came out into the open there was a cleaning of the closet if you will the goal of this conversation was actually actually to unbreak y'all's hearts okay and it ended up breaking y'all up, okay? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There was a whole, let's come clean, let's tell each other, you know, whatever. Or maybe you thought y'all was telling each other some real shit. And whatever happened, baby, that conversation went somewhere. Did nobody see it going? And he was not able to take any actions, the magician in reverse. He wasn't able to take any, any action spiritually or physically that could reverse the damage that was done by that particular, let's just put it all out there, conversation. He was not able to do anything to change where y'all was left by the end of that conversation okay and this is a big regret for him because he feels like that conversation broke y'all up and y'all was left out one of y'all was left out in the cold i guess that would have had to be him okay and he feels like look at this five of pentacles back to back both of y'all ended up feeling like y'all was left out in the cold by the other okay and this chill that went through y'all relationship is one that just did not disappear. You know what song I'm hearing? If anybody is familiar with, um, this is the energy that's left in y'all relationship. The song, um, it's Stevie Wonder. Um, when the summer came, you were not around. Donnie Hathaway made it too. Where were you when I needed you? Last winter, my love. It's Donnie Hathaway got a version of it. And Stevie Wonder got a version of it. I think it's on either Talking Book or Inner Visions. And it's Superwoman. But it's got like that whole little part two type of vibe. Where were you when I needed you? Um, and that is kind of how both of you were left feeling. Okay. It's like, where were you when I needed you? When things got tough, when the conversations got tough, you know. But what you don't understand is that this man still holds you. I'm also hearing Stevie Wonder again in, in Golden Lady Energy. If you're familiar with that song, Golden Lady. Okay. this You're still this man's Golden Lady. In spite of the fact that you guys kind of had a mature but cold parting, this man is still crazy about you. Four swords in the upright. Okay. Um, y'all are just at a standstill right now. You are actually thinking, you've just been kind of thinking about everything that happened and how it is y'all ended up split four of wands in reverse. How it is that he ended up not being your boyfriend, not being your man because he had been. Okay. How you're thinking too, like maybe there were some truths that we shouldn't have put out there. But I get the vibe that because y'all are trying to be in such a holistic relationship, y'all thought that we're going to tell each other everything. And it just, it just... It just didn't turn out to be, there were some things that should were best left unsaid, okay? Four swords once again. So now this stagnancy has entered the relationship. And, and privately, he's really hoping that things could change because he would like to come back your way, okay? He really would. Um, he also would like to make you a financial offering, okay? He also would like to be a provider, Six of Pentacles energy, Okay, and the magician, he would like to take action. He's just trying to figure out what kind of action to take. But he is going to reach out to you and call you. Okay. He is going to reach out to you and call you. Maybe um, one of those nights when he off one of them little cocktails. Okay, you go get that girl you know I, 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 I love you. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you go get all that. All that good Lenny Williams on your, on your line. Lenny White. Was it Lenny White? All on your line, okay? Eight of Wands energy with the Six of Swords. This man is going to call you to communicate and hopes that y'all move things forward, okay? He really wants to move things forward and he wants y'all to walk into a season of rebirth, okay? Eight of Cups with the Death card in reverse. Um, Eight of Swords, okay? He wants y'all to walk into a new phase of truth. Can y'all reveal now knowing about each other what y'all knew about each other then? Like, he really want to know. Okay, he's not willing to give up. He's not willing to just call you an ex-lover. Okay, like, oh, we used to be together. He's not ready to let it in. Ace of Wands in reverse. He wants his Queen of Cups energy back. He wants his, his Queen of Wands energy back. He wants his, like, Fire and Desire by Rick James and Tina Marie. Love them and leave them. Y'all know Tina was dramatic. That was my claim to fame. Use you know, she should go all out. Okay. So he's sitting there trying to figure out how to get you back to being his Tina Marie, the Tina Marie to his Rick James. 
Okay, shout out to Tina and Rick because they was making it happen. If you ain't never watched a YouTube video of Tina Marie and Rick James performing together when they was young, live, baby, I suggest you do it. They was giving, they was giving some drama that I was like, this, this some shit right here. <laughs> you turned on my fire. Okay. Um, this man wants his fire and desire back from you. Okay. Seven of Cups energy in the upright. This man wants you back. He wants his dream back. He wants to let all the burdens go, baby. Ten of Wands in reverse with the Five of Cups. He want to let go of the burdens. He want to let go of the grief. He want to let go of the fighting. Like, he just wants y'all to be back cool. These burdens are in y'all way. This man is ready to let his guards down. Just to put y'all world back together, he will be vulnerable and tell you anything that you want to know, okay? Ace of Wands in the upright. Because this man desperately wants a new beginning with you. He really ain't here to play no games, okay? This man is trying to put y'all back together. Whatever that means, okay? There are a lot of spiritual gifts between you and this man, okay? Things between y'all can transform if both of y'all reflect on this and be fair. Y'all also might want to seek guidance from some other people in you all spiritual community. Because whoever this is, you do know other people that are spiritually inclined that can be beneficial to y'all during this time, okay? So reach out to y'all friends. Embrace the light and dark energy between y'all two. Just embrace it. Because at the end of the day, ain't no sense in y'all shunning each other over, oh, you did this back when, or whatever went down between y'all, y'all, I don't know, okay? Ain't no sense in y'all shunning each other for that, okay? Preparation, okay? Just get prepared to move forward and protect y'all selves, 444 energy, make sure y'all moving in love and light. And let's just look at some of these spiritual gifts, too, because I keep getting that bad. Um, both of you all possess spiritual gifts, and you're very powerful, um, a very powerful uh, couple together, okay? That's why y'all can still, or he can certainly still get through to you um, when he is not in your physical presence, okay? So some of these spiritual gifts that are going on between y'all, okay? Because we want to know what the hell is going on. Prophetic dreams. Um, I really get the energy that maybe both of y'all have prophetic dreams. This man is able to see things very clearly. We see a lot of Neptune energy, okay? This is really important for right now. The generation, I believe, that we're in right now, people that were probably born in the, I want to say the 80s. I think were we like mostly born in Neptune energy. Um, very much that's about transcending limitations, okay? Breaking free from things, changing the world, Um Changing the way things are done, innovation, creativeness, okay, coming through in that Neptune energy. And that is very significant um, in y'all's relationship, okay? Together, if y'all remain together spiritually, y'all really will break a lot of barriers, even with the people around you, because together you guys have a lot of wisdom. Clairsentience, okay, the ability to feel a person or spirit's emotions. I think it's obvious that this is something that you have. This is why you're able to feel what this man is going through without you. Okay. Also nutrition. Okay. You may be very gifted with nutrition or learning nutrition, whether you know about nutrition now or not, you would be very gifted to move forward in nutrition. Okay. Holistic health, study Dr. Sebi, things like that. Okay. So we see this Venus energy. Both of y'all are very loving. That is why y'all Venus and telepathy. Y'all can hear each other, each other's thoughts very well. Even though you're clairsentient and may kind of pick up on everybody's energy, Specifically, the two of you, you guys can pick up on each other's energy and thoughts extremely well. Okay. This man is a king, okay, in the spiritual realm. Okay. He has a very strong spirit animal energy around him. Okay. He transforms things very well. He's very good at helping people become better. And we saw that when we first came in to the reading. We saw that this man has a lot of transformative energy. Okay. Um, networking is also very important for y'all as well to kind of keep a network of other spiritual people around y'all, okay, because y'all are both very powerful and can get a lot from fellowshipping with other powerful spiritual people. Um, so what is the future of this relationship spirit, okay? What is the future of this? Where y'all headed, okay? With y'all fire and desire self. Love them, Okay. And leave them. That's what I used to do. All right. All of that. All of that. 
tasting your tin drop stains. Okay, yeah, drama. Okay, y'all have a lot of passion between y'all. This man does return to you with an offering. An offering for commitment. I don't know if I see traditional marriage between y'all because I don't know if y'all are really that traditional of a couple um, that would just get into a government licensed contract together over love. I don't know if that's how y'all move. But regardless, this man does come back and say, hey, I'm really having a hard time doing this without you. So you need to just come on home. Okay, you need to just come on back. Eight of Pentacles energy. You need to just come on back to the crib. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, this is what he on. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Come back. Focus on me. Focus on us. Let's focus on building. He may also talk about trying to get into some type of uh, cooking or cleansing program or process together that is going to ultimately become a business for y'all. Okay. Page of Wands moving forward with the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Okay. Y'all really want to move forward and kind of have another adventure together and make another offering because you will end up grieving somewhere down the line without this man, okay? If y'all continue to fight, y'all really do have some divine uh, energy together that can help take y'all in a positive direction. Um, and y'all would end up celebrating emotionally if you do allow this man to come back when he tries to come back because y'all have a very peaceful relationship. Notice we didn't see no drama. It just seems like, in y'all's attempts to be righteous, there was some feelings that got hurt, you know, and that five of pentacles energy snuck up in there on y'all and shit got cold and folks started feeling like they was getting left out in the wilderness, you know, but those are things that can be overcome and y'all have had some time to do some healing, okay? Divine Mother says that's, that's the truth, baby. Y'all have had time to do some healing. Four of pentacles with the seven of cups. And y'all's time that y'all took to do that healing, okay, is very beneficial because this man has had time to hold back his energy and reflect. Four of Pentacles with Seven of Cups. Really think about what he's been doing. How was he behaving? Was he in the right? Was he being an effective leader? Because this man, we saw that king energy. He does pride himself on being the emotional leader in the relationship, okay? And he feels like, did I lead things in the wrong direction by not really offering myself to her properly okay did i take things down the wrong road you see what i'm saying okay six of wands this man is wondering if there was something he could have done six of wands six of swords and the chariot to transition this thing into a position where it would have moved faster and been more steady and sturdy and that is what he is trying to add to the relationship now he's feeling like i did not do enough I could have done more. I could have been a better leader. I could have been a better, a better conduit for the energy that came through this relationship. And so he's coming back now, you know, attempting to get back into your life to make amends for being what he feels is a poor, a poor leader in this relationship, a poor divine masculine. Okay. Because this is a divine masculine energy. Okay. And he's trying to figure out how he can get back in this mix because he cannot let you go. He doesn't care what happened between y'all, who wounded who. He's going to come back with an offering, with a gift, with his masculinity in full toll. Um, and we see the sun and king of swords energy. He is going to come back thinking with a strategy saying, how can I lead this thing from a mental perspective to make sure that we fulfill our spiritual destiny together, that we fulfill our financial destiny together, that we can share our thoughts. Okay. King of swords energy that we can share our thoughts in a way that is conducive to both of us. Okay. Because right now he is lonely and sitting back looking at old pictures of you. Okay. Wishing that you were still there being his queen of wands. Okay, I'm just going to tell you the truth now. That's what the man on, okay? He's missing the sexual energy. He's missing having you by his side. He's missing taking action, okay, as it relates to you. And we see here with this queen of swords energy, um, your words and your bluntness and your sharpness and your ability to see things clearly in a divine way are things that he has not felt that he's been able to replace, Okay. So this man is in heartbreak energy right now. And he is going to come to you and offer you something that you are definitely going to find fulfilling. This man is not coming in with no nonsense. Okay, this man is coming in for real, for serious. He's going to have a very creative way of making an offering to you. It may be um, even singing something, leaving it on your voicemail. If he rhymes, I get the vibe. This dude might also know how to rhyme a little bit. He may rap a little of his poetry to you. 
okay? But he's going to do what he has to do. This divine masculine is going to do what he has to do to let you know that life without you has really not been as comfortable for him. And with him being someone that generally lives in the moment, um, he's really very shocked that he wasn't able to just move forward from you, but he cannot. And for him, this was a signal to this man, okay? The self-reliance, it's time for him to stop that and for him to move into a time of change. And that change is welcoming you back into his life, okay? And moving forward with you and trusting you, okay? Most importantly, with his feelings, okay? If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Hit the bell. Okay, if you want to be here every single time me and the tea team are up and in here, up and I said up and up and in here, up and in here with these good old tarot messages, y'all. And as always, I will do what? Catch y'all in the next one.